I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. We're going to try all the ice cream right, right after, after this. this. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so we have a highly requested video i was so excited i found this rachel recently found in aldi's the new aldi's keto ice cream let me show you a, a picture of this real quick and uh we actually have three different flavors here we have peanut butter fudge we have cookie dough and we have mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip. And I've always liked mint chocolate chip ice cream. So I've always liked peanut butter. Uh, I'm very intrigued by this because this is gonna be something that you can get in pretty much if you have an all these near you, you're gonna be able to get keto ice cream. Whereas a lot of the other ones are like not in all the stores yet. Yeah. So we're gonna do a review on this. We really haven't taken a look at it other than the fact that the front says like five net carbs per serving. So other than oh. that, we haven't looked at the ingredients. We haven't tasted them all. No. We're gonna put these through a full five things review and let you guys know whether we think it's worth it, whether we should recommend it and what the ingredients look like. Yeah. Where are we gonna start? I know you don't like mint chocolate chip as much. So, so you wanna there. start there, yeah. I know. I know you. I got my coffee. Okay, so wait, I I don't know if you're Spider -Man. supposed to have these out. If you do know, if you've ever had keto ice creams, a lot of times they recommend you keep them out for a little while to soften up. So what we did do was, just to be safe, they've been sitting out for about 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so I got a couple of spoons here, and we are going to just double dip the spoons in it. I don't have six spoons. And I have a palate cleanser of water. You have here. a palate cleanser. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, it definitely could def use sitting out. So it looks like this was pretty perfect. Maybe even a couple more minutes would have been good. It kind of scoops like ice cream. Definitely smells like mint chocolate chip. Should we Ooh. show them the inside? Well, we'll show them the inside afterwards. Yeah. Okay, ready? Wow. It's got a good flavor. I'm gonna scoop this off for a minute so I can show you guys. I feel like I just brushed my teeth. What the inside looks like. It definitely has a minty flavor. If you like mint chocolate chip, it's got a minty nice fresh. minty flavor. Yeah. It's like toothpaste mint, isn't it? I mean, I've, you, there's different mints. I don't know. I think I think the mint flavor is good. I'm trying to decide if I like the texture of the ice cream. I'm going to test the other ones and say. It's toothpaste mint. I don't know if it's toothpaste mint. I it mean, is? most mint ice creams are very strong. We're gonna go with uh, peanut butter fudge next. There's aqua fresh in there. Okay, so here's the peanut butter fudge. You get a double palate cleanse. All right. We're swapping spoons. Ooh, but we do kiss. We are married. Definitely gonna have to palate cleanse from going to. There's a lot of chocolate in this. There's like swirls of chocolate. That doesn't make me sad. Ready? Wow. Very peanut buttery. Very peanut buttery. Almost tastes like peanut butter ice cream. I, I really enjoy peanut butter and fudge ice cream where it's chunks of peanut butter. The yeah. one, my favorite kind is like a vanilla ice cream with chunks of peanut butter and fudge in it. Got a very generous. This is amount. peanut butter ice cream there with no sugar added fudge swirl. So That more. is tasty. I'm trying to set up I like this texture or not. Is, is the texture? It's great. 
all keto ice creams are a little bit strange texture wise. Well, they're what very you're heavy used to. because they're made usually very high in fat, which means they're very creamy. That you know, they're not like you're used to ice cream. Also, a lot of us are used to fake ice cream. Right. Like a lot of those ice creams, when you go to buy briars and stuff, there's so many chemicals in them that when you start tasting stuff that only has like a few ingredients, and like the number one ingredient is cream. So this is cookie dough. Cookie dough. So. Definitely a fan favorite. Definitely. I have not had a cookie dough keto ice cream. I feel like this would be it what our children would It request. definitely scoops easy. Ooh. Ah. This one's got a little bit of crystallization on top. You're <laughs> cheating. Well, it's dripping. <laughs> I don't want to lose any. Okay, you ready? That's a good vanilla ice cream. That is an excellent vanilla ice cream. Wow. Did you get a bite of cookie dough, though? I got a little tiny bite. Not much. Let me see. I see a piece right here. I'm going to give you a piece of cookie dough. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of cookie dough in this. There is not a lot. I'm not seeing, like, if you look, there's not a lot of cookie dough. I'm, I'm used to cookie dough ice cream where, like, every single spoonful has got cookie dough in it. That is a good cookie dough, and that is a solid vanilla it's ice cream It's a solid taste. vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Okay. You want to put this through five things. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So number one. So number one, the ingredients. And... I'm trying to think of, I've got a couple of the other companies over here so we can do a little bit of comparison. We're going to grab the peanut butter and fudge. We'll kind of base, we'll take a look at the other ones. But yeah. So the ingredients in this are cream, skim milk, no sugar added fudge swirl, which is made with water, inulin, cocoa powder, erythritol, glycerin, butter, which is made with cream and salt. Then you have salt, sunflower lecithin, natural flavors, monk fruit extract, tarragon, peanut butter, which is made with peanuts, peanut oil, and salt. Erythritol, pasteurized egg yolks, soluble corn fiber, vegetable glycerin, milk protein concentrate, tarragum salt, guar gum, monk fruit extract. Okay, so I'm just looking to see if there's any major differences on the mint one. The mint one is cream, skim milk, erythritol, pasteurized egg yolks, no sugar added chocolate chips, which is coconut oil, chocolate, uh, cocoa, erythritol, and sunflower less than in salt. Uh, you have vanilla extract, monk fruit extract, soluble corn fiber, vegetable glycerin, milk protein concentrate, natural flavors, tarragum, salt, guar gum, monk fruit extract. And uh, the cookie dough is cream, skim milk, no sugar added cookie dough, which is almond flour, erythritol, palm oil, water, natural flavors, sodium bicarbonate, sunflower lecithin, and salt. Erythritol, pasteurized egg yolks, no sugar added chocolatey chips, which are coconut oil, cocoa, erythritol, sunflower lecithin, salt, cocoa, processed with alkali, vanilla extract, monk fruit, soluble corn fiber, vegetable glycerin, milk protein concentrate, vanilla extract, tara gum, salt, gore gum, and monk fruit extract. Okay, so the ingredients are very similar. I grabbed out of the freezer an enlightened ice cream. We've actually never tried this flavor. We should try it because it's mint chocolate chip. And, um, but just to compare, I think these ingredients are very similar to these. The ingredients in this are cream, water, erythritol, egg yolks, non-GMO, soluble corn fiber, vegetable glycerin, milk protein concentrate, coconut oil, skim milk, Dutch cocoa, mint, natural flavors, Tarragum, gour gum, carob gum, monk fruit extract, sunflower less than salt and vanilla. So the ingredients are almost identical. Very similar. Except for the skim milk in this one is way down on the bottom of the list. Like, and here it's, it's like, like the first or yeah, second, ingredient. second ingredient. So just because we happen to have it, let's do a comparison of here's the mint chocolate chip for uh Aldi, and this is the Enlightened. So the Enlightened is actually green. Let's do a little taste flavor, just a little piece. This one hasn't been out as long. Which one do you think is better? This one is more minty. This one is smoother. Okay, so make flavor. This one is yeah, it's like it's mint. I taste mint. This one's really mint. This is really mint. Yeah. Almost I mean, but I think that there's more chocolate chips in that. 
Yes, definitely more chocolate I think they're chips. more generous with the junk they put in their ice cream. And you know we love junk in our ice cream. Yep. Okay, so ingredients honestly are not bad. Some people are going to have a problem with the soluble corn fiber. Mm -hmm. Personally, doesn't bother me because we're using ice cream as a treat. Yeah. Um, I, I know we've done blood tests. It really didn't elevate much. It was like maybe one or two points, which to me is negligible. I know Aaron from High Fat High Fun did do a blood sugar test on the Enlightened ice cream, uh -huh. and uh, he had a couple again a couple of point difference. It wasn't anything to really worry yourself about, right? Because the ingredients are so similar, I have a feeling you would have the same on this one as well. But yeah. overall, I think the ingredients they're not the cleanest. They're not as clean as Rebel Creamery or Killer Creamery, right? But they're pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Okay, so number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? This is the one I'm a little concerned about only because of what I saw on the front. I haven't yeah. actually looked at the nutrition label. So let's do this. So the nutrition label, now here's a big difference between this and all of these other companies is they're saying there's three servings per container in here. Whereas all of these other ones are four servings per container. So they're saying a serving is two thirds of a cup. It's probably more accurate. They're saying a serving is a half a cup. Yeah. Now remember, servings are also how much, it, they're not looking at how much you should eat. They're looking at what can we put to give you low macros. Okay, so what I do like about this right off the bat, they're showing you on one side what it would be for a serving, and then they're showing you what would be if you ate the entire pint. So right. let's be honest. I'm probably going to eat the entire pint. Well, we usually eat a half a pint. We Each. usually, when we have ice cream, and it's become very rare because we make a lot of our own ice cream with keto chow, and we have Carrie Brown's key, uh, ice cream cookbook. Yeah. But uh, we usually would do on it on a dessert day, which is was usually Fridays. We would each take we take one pint, we'd split it. We weighed it out to make sure we both get the same exact amount. Yeah, because we'll fight over that. And uh, nobody plays the, a spoon for me and then like a spoon into the bowl kind of thing. Dang it. And uh, yeah, we would eat a half a pint a piece. But we're going to go with one serving, but we're also going to take a look at one thing on the whole pint. So, yeah. So per serving, it's 210 calories, 21 grams of fat. It is four grams of protein. And I'm looking at the mint chip. Mm-hmm. 17 total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, and nine grams of sugar alcohol, making it, what is that? Nine, nine plus three, that's should, 12. That's five, five. five net carbs per serving, 15 carbs for, 15 net carbs for the whole pint. If you were to eat the entire pint, it would be 52 total grams of carbohydrates which would exceed our limit even on a net carb day. Yeah. Our max is 40 total carbs, normally 30. So we could not eat an entire pint in a day. No. Uh, on the way we eat, a half a pint we could, but not a total. With the ingredients being so similar, I'm curious where the difference is. Because if you look at an Enlightened, an Enlightened is 180 calories per serving. Mm -hmm. Okay, now again, they're doing four versus three. So if yeah. you eat this whole pint, so 180, that's 360, 720 calories if you eat the whole pint. They're saying it's 11 total carbohydrates per serving. So then you look at these, these are 17, what, 19, and how much is the peanut butter one? 20. 20, 17, I'm 19, sorry. and 20. I'm sorry, this one is 19. It's the cookie dough that's 20. So 17, 19, 20. This one is 11. They're saying two, total, two grams of dietary fiber and eight grams of sugar alcohols. These are three grams, two grams, and eight or nine grams of sugar alcohol. So the difference is in the total carbohydrates, and I have a feeling the difference comes down to the skim milk. Okay. Which is why I think this is creamier, okay? Okay. So this one here is much lower in total carbohydrates as well as net carbs. So if you look at the Enlightened, Enlightened is one net carb per serving. If you eat the entire pint, four net carbs. Here, eat, and again, apples to apples, right? This is mint, this is mint. Eat the entire pint here, 15 net carbs. Eat the entire pint here, four net carbs. So if I eat the entire pint and I'm doing total carbs, you're looking at- 30, 44. Well, 11. 44, yeah. So- Oh, four, I'm sorry. Four, 44. 44. 44 total carbs versus 52 total carbs. Yeah. It's, it's a big difference. That's a also the amount difference. of sugar alcohol. So um, Now compare it to... Now this obviously isn't mint. I do have a mint somewhere. I got a peanut but, butter though. Okay. So here's a peanut butter fudge uh, on Rebel. 
12 total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, seven sugar alcohols. If you eat the entire pint, eight grams net carb. So this one would be 15 net carb for it. And this one would be 48 total carb for the whole pint. That one is... Almost like 19 times. No, 50, it's right there. 50, oh, I'm sorry, 58. 58. So again, lower, lower. And uh, this one's 200 calories, 12 grams of carb, total carbohydrates. Now again, they are cutting the, this has got more servings. So you have to look, that's why I'm looking at total carbs right. for the whole pint. And again, whole pint, eight. Here, whole pint is 15. Big difference. Very big difference. Okay. Overall, if you look at these four nutrition-wise, this is the worst one. Yeah. Worst one based on does it keto on the nutrition label. But you can fit it into your day yeah. if you if you budget it. But I would really recommend going by the serving size so yes. that you get... You keep it as close to the five net carbs as possible. Yeah. So number three, how does it taste? They're very good. With the exception of this, like no kidding, being very toothpastey. If you're, I, I do not find it toothpastey, but I love mint chocolate chip ice cream. Rachel is not a fan not of Not a huge favorite, chip. but I've never tasted a mint chocolate chip that instantly made me think I brushed my teeth. Okay. I actually really like this, but if you are not a huge fan, I'm going to move this out of the shop. Uh, if you are not a huge fan of mint chocolate chip ice cream, you probably won't like this. No. It, I mean, first bite, first like even touch to your tongue, it is very minty. If you're like me and love mint chocolate chip ice cream, you will really, really like that one. This one, solid on the vanilla. Like they've got vanilla ice cream down to a delicious taste. And this one's okay. It wouldn't. That one was pretty good, but it is. It is a peanut butter ice cream. So if you're not like peanut butter ice cream, if you like a vanilla ice cream with peanut butter and stuff in it, you may not like this because it is a peanut butter ice cream. But this one was really good and the, the cookie dough chips are good. Okay. So number four, how much does it cost? Rachel, you bought them. $3.99 a pint. $3.99 a pint. So it is pretty much right in line with all of the other keto ice creams. It's actually like about a dollar cheaper than regular price. I know you can buy Rebel Creamery and you can buy Enlightened in most grocery stores yeah. or in a lot of grocery stores. And those are going to cost you about $5. They also go on sale a lot in their grocery stores. Yeah, they do. And so that brings them a little bit lower. So now, of course, these are never going to be on sale. All these really doesn't do big sales, maybe 10, 20, 30 they cents They don't off. have to because their price They're point already priced is so low. low. So you're never probably going to see this list less than four. Now, I... I haven't seen anything that says that this is a limited time thing. No, it's I, a new product. For they them. do seem to have it like where I found it was where they have special items. They didn't have it with the rest of the ice creams. They had it in that middle section with things that they only have for a limited time. So that confused me a little bit, but I think it's here to stay. Yeah. Now I did want to point out this is made by the Aldi's brand. It's Sunday, Sunday Shop, Shop, which makes all of like the Aldi's branded ice creams. Yeah. I don't know who the company that I, of Sunday Shop is. You know, most of the time these are companies that are just branding other another company. I don't know who that is. But, yeah. But the, yeah, this is the Aldi's brand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So number five, would we recommend this? And I'm gonna start off on this one. And I'm honestly, even though I don't think the ingredients are bad, even though it doesn't taste horrible. I wouldn't personally recommend this. Why is that? So the reason I put personally wouldn't recommend it, with an exception, and the exception would be if you can't get any of the other ones anywhere near you. Yeah. Okay. The reason I wouldn't recommend it is because it is very high in carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. And like you said, let's face it, most people are not going to eat one serving. No. Nah. Okay, two -thirds. you're going to eat the whole pint. Two thirds of a cup is very limited amount. <laughs> right. Most people are going to eat the whole pint or at minimum a half a pint. Right. But if you want to be honest, if you're going to eat the whole pint, you're eating 15 total, uh, 15 net carbohydrates, which would be 75% of your carbs for the day. If you're eating total carbs, my personal opinion is nobody should be eating 58 
total carbs a day. Like, I don't think you should bring it over 40, maybe 50 if you've been doing keto a long time and you're super fat adapted and you're somewhat, you know, moving around and that kind of stuff. But I think that when I look at this and I compare it to other options out there, mm -hmm. and especially when you look at Rebel and Enlightened, which are available in a in lot stores. of areas now. Rebel is available in more and more and more and more stores. I just don't think it's as good of an option as the other ones. Okay. So that that's just my opinion. I don't like the fact that skim milk is so high on the list. And I'm even looking here, it's you know, they're saying two grams of sugars in these, three grams of sugars. Whereas I'm looking over here and these are all like less than one gram of sugar. So the difference is definitely that skim milk because between these two, the Enlightened and the Aldi's, the only difference is where the skim milk is on the nutritional label. Yeah. So the skim milk's like one of the last ingredients here. Here it's one of the first ingredients. Yeah. So I think that that's what's elevating the carbs. Um, so that's, again, my opinion. If you don't have any other option and you really want ice cream, personally, I would say make a keto chow ice cream or make one of the ice creams from Carrie Brown's um, ice cream cookbook. I'll leave a link for that cookbook down below. They're super easy to make. The one nice thing about all these is you don't have to go and buy four or five of them. You can buy one. Yeah. You know, whereas some of these other ones, if you can't get them in a local store, you have to have them delivered to you, which means now you have four to six to eight pints and you might overindulge. So for me, I would recommend these but only to people who are really good about sticking to the serving size, <laughs> okay. right? I might even move the serving size to make it comparable with the other ice cream. So a half a cup like instead of two thirds of a cup. A half a cup serving. Because let me tell you, 60 total carbs in this. Someone like me is not going to eat two thirds of a cup. I'm not even gonna eat half a cup. I'm gonna eat this entire pint because it's delicious and it is cheap and it is easily accessible. And even if you're following a net carb protocol, it's what, 15, 15. net carbs for the entire pint. That is absolutely going to change the rest of my meal plan and chances are, I am not going to only eat five more net carbs in the rest of my meals for the day. Mm -hmm. And so then I'm going to, I don't know, be in a bad spot. Right. And it's a slippery slope because it's so accessible, right? Um, and I'm not trying to be a jerk or a keto police. I do have a badge on my shirt, but this is grammar police. So I'm only going to correct your grammar. Um, I'm not going to try to, you know, police your keto journey, but I'm just saying if you're someone like me and struggles with something that is sweet and delicious and high in carbs, you're probably going to have a hard time with this. Right. And I don't want this to be an obstacle to you. It is delicious, it is very inexpensive, and it's super accessible. That Those are awesome things. Yeah. But watch yourself. Yeah, just remember the one thing that we consistently say. If it says keto on it, and it's available locally, and it's cheap, Be make sure you're looking at the ingredients in the nutrition label and make sure they're not trying to adjust that nutritional label with the ingredient. Again, it doesn't have horrible ingredients. Like no. I said, it's got very similar ingredients to... An Enlightened. Enlightened. Not, it's got nothing like Rebel. Rebel, it doesn't have soluble corn fiber and that yeah. kind of stuff added in. But it, it has very similar ingredients to the Enlightened. So it's... My big thing is just the carb count. That's my biggest thing with it. And because like you said, I feel like you're going to overdo it. So yes, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> if you have your option between buying this one or buying this one, I would get this one, yeah. even if it's a dollar more. Yes. I'm, you will be happy with yourself. And I mean, is a dollar worth, you know, like what? 20 total carbs. And I mean, I can't even figure, what is this? Four net carbs for the whole, four net carbs. So is it worth 11 net carbs if you're eating the whole pint or what, 20 total carbs? Like that's the difference between them. It's something worth thinking about right. before I just buy it yeah. because it's there yeah. and it says keto on it. So what would you recommend if, if, so you recommend this for people who can really control themselves and if Not you me. can't control yourself? <laughs> if you can't control yourself, I would recommend Enlightened. Enlightened. I mean, I totally understand people not wanting to get killer creamery because you have to buy them and have them shipped to your store and all of that. That's why we want to really compare this ice cream to other ones that you can find in a grocery store in your local area, like Rebel and like Enlightened. Yeah, and especially Enlightened because that's a big company. I mean, whereas 
Rebel and Killer were small companies from the keto community. Enlightened and all these, they're big companies yeah. gearing their products towards keto. So I think that's the best comparison. And honestly, I constantly go back to buying the Enlightened bars yeah. versus buying the Enlightened pints. And they may turn these guys into bars. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to take a look at that. Yeah. That might be a better option because the bars of Enlightened, I do better with that serving size than getting it out of and the that, pint. And that is kind of where I wanted to finish up with like, yeah. So again, I don't think it's horrible. I won't recommend it only because of the carbs, but if, if like Rachel said, you can handle your carbs. If you can, if you think you can really cut this down to, I would cut it into four servings to really, then you're probably at about three net carbs and probably Never a little bit better. Never going to do that though. You know, but um, my, my biggest recommendation people of what you can get in a local store is always going to be those enlightened bars. And the reason being is it's easier to control your serving size. Yeah. We like the bars because I grab one, I know I'm not gonna overdo it, and I know I'm not gonna eat half of Rachel's. Yeah, and that, <laughs> that keeps them alive. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you have tried uh, any of these Aldi brand keto ice creams. Um, I know that there's another one out there that's coming out now is Halo Tops. We are looking for that one, and we yeah. will do that one as well. I'm personally going to give these to the boys. Again, not because they're horrible, just because I'd rather have something with a lot less carbs in it. Yeah, so, same. Um, please do a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we taste delicious ice cream, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.